three days later, the boys are back at home in Dublin. After tearing the ligaments in his knee, Edward is still hobbling. For 18 years, the twins have always shared a bedroom. It's actually okay. so weird being back here because, like, usually when we're back here, it's like, like it feels like nothing's like kind of changed. Except like our, our our room's like really really clean. I think our mom like got rid of lots of our stuff. Yeah, and this is our bed. This is my bed. This is like John, my bed, and then this is Edward's bed. Guys, here's my golden shoes, which I wore on the X Factor in my very first audition. These shows, these shoes are like my number one shoes that I love. These are some of our favorite CDs here, and the best CD. He's our brother Kevin. Hi. He's our older brother. He looks kind of like me. My name is Millie. Well, okay, okay. I am John Edward. Pat. Come on, go. Guys, okay, basically this is a really, really small garden, which me and John used to play tennis in, and the next door neighbors would go crazy, and so there's a couple of smashed windows, but it wasn't us. They can't prove it. It's kind of crazy to think that we can perform for like thousands of people and tours, and they're going crazy, and then still come back home, and just hang out your family, hang out your dogs, and just be able to chill and watch TV, and just do your own thing. Bampered by their parents, the boys barely have to lift a finger when they're at home. But all that is about to change. The boys are moving from here to here. It's a swanky bachelor apartment in an exclusive part of Dublin. The challenge we've set is a huge test for the boys. Cooking, cleaning and shopping. For the first time in their lives, they will have to fend for themselves. I mean, you know that you can call this Ronnie phone call away. Mom and Dad are worried and they've got plenty of parental advice to offer. Some of it pretty basic. Do you know what's ever clear or not? No, it's really difficult. Right, John, that's absolutely ridiculous. There's a way of setting up the table, right? I know how to do it. You, you, we work from the outside in. Not with your fingers. Okay. And there's even more words of wisdom from Dad. A dishwasher. It's not a case of filling the dishwasher and forgetting about it. You can order your food on online, right? You can do online and they deliver it out to her every year. I, I, I do think that you will have to cook for yourselves and you won't starve and you're not losing any weight on you at the moment. So. She's so trying to say that me and her are fat. <laughs> no, I think that's not what I said. We won't. I said, you don't lose, look because you're losing any weight or you're not gaining any weight, right? But there'd be no fear yet. I didn't leave home until I literally was 27. I stayed at home all the time. I'm a bit of a home bird, so. Spot the nerd. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> So you like left home when you're 27? 27. I and then you had me and Edward. Then I did. I had you Kate Kevin James first, first yes. and you had me and Edward. I did. I was blessed. Now that the boys are, are moving out, you know, to their own place, we are apprehensive about it. Because um, I'm going to be worried about how they're going to manage uh, basic things, I suppose, like, you know, the washing. The last experience I had was of John putting his runners into the washing machine and breaking it. Time to start packing and thoughts turn to the days ahead. I think the big challenge is that we're going to have to be like more independent and realise that we're going to have to do everything ourselves, do our own laundry. We need to find like one of those basic guides where it's like this is what you do because like I've never, I've never turned on a cooker. I feel like we'd like take on responsibility. I feel like I don't want to take on the whole responsibility of like, oh it's like, like the house could go on fire. Hopefully that won't happen. We'll see how it works, Kay, and hopefully... I would cover if the house goes on fire. I feel like that we're really excited because it's going to be like our own apartment. It's going to be a lot of fun because I feel that it will be a new step for me and Edward. Okay. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Kay. Look, Kay. Be good now. Bye, Daddy. Bye, guys. Look after yourself. Bye, Kevin James. Make sure you use your crutches, won't you? I'll call you later, Kevin. We're going out, Kay. Make sure you call us, won't you? We're going forever. Bye. The time has finally come to move in. Threw me up the steps, thanks, yeah, yeah. But it's not the best start to their new life as John gallantly has to carry his brother over the threshold. Oh my god, it's like so big, it's like New York or something. It actually looks so cool. Edward, I don't know what's delaying you, Edward. I hurt my leg, John. Oh, I forgot. They've made it. 
their first home of their own. Whoa, it's like so cool. Whoa, it's like so stylish. It's like huge. Look, look, you can see the whole view of Dublin. And it's time to explore. Oh my God, John, check out the fridge. There's not one thing in the fridge. We need to like definitely go shopping and like get loads and loads of food. Everything's so big. Like it's so much space. Like you can actually hear an echo. Echo. You actually hear an echo. You can hear an echo in this apartment. I feel like living up like with the, the show you're up so high. It's like it, when we get like low oxygen or something. The show you when you climb up mountains. Is that what happens? Yeah, you got like the oxygen. Or will our air be fresher? Our air is going to be fresher because we're living up so high. Oh my God, check out your, check out your like, um, your, your oh, bath. Oh, look at the bath. Is it, it's like a part of a celebrity lives in, a celebrity lives in. Is it? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, Come on. How do you turn it off? Do turn it off? Okay. I'll shower. It's just like huge. The water not work. Early signs, not encouraging. Whoa. You're not proper hands, you gotta like do that. Bang goes the deposit. You actually broke it. We've it wasn't been, me. We've only been here for like... How I'm actually saying saying five minutes. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. It's, it has sticky tape on it. Let's go check out the other room and see which room you're having, which room I'm having. I'm picking mine first. Like I don't... I want to get the best room. This like, room is like totally I'm different. This room. this room is so much better. Okay, Edward. I want that much more comfy. Do you want to have this one? Yeah, I'm going to have this one. For the first time in 18 years, the twins will have separate bedrooms. It's really weird. So we're not having John just there, right next to me. Just be there, like, waving and waking up in the morning. And I have, like, like what if John, like, John always wakes me up in the morning. But I have no excuse to go, John dirty did it. Because, like, we always blame each other when our mom goes out to us. We're always like, I didn't do it. John did it. And then, like, we always clean together. Now I'm going like, to keep my own room clean. We have tried to make it easy. Honestly, there are instructions explaining everything the boys need to know. Oh, God, it says, Dear John Edward. Dear John Edward, welcome to your penthouse apartment. Below you will find general information about your new accommodation. They knew we were going to be clueless, and they gave us... Like, we don't even need you. We don't need our mom and dad. We have these tree sheets to help us out. It says, like, everything that we need to do. Hold on, hold on. Okay, nearest hospital, John, in case you get burned or something, like while you're cooking. St. James Hospital. <laughs> but there's a big problem the boys can't solve. Edward, wait. This doesn't work. There's actually no water in this apartment. We need to actually go to the plumbers and tell them that there's no water in this apartment. Or like, we're gonna have to go to like Tesco and get like bottles of water so we can wash our teeth with like, the come water. Come on, okay, the apartment's like amazing and the water, there's no water. Like, how are we meant to flush the toilet? Think about it, the water has to be all transported. Like probably the gravity is pushing down all the, the plumbing, and no. that's why there's no water think about up here. We're on the eighth floor, so like, the water has to come all the way from down eighth there. Eighth floor. We should wait until it comes up. You could try reading those instructions, boys. Cold water can be turned on or off from the metal tap in the second storage room, underneath the boiler. Okay, let's check that out. Second storage room underneath the boiler. Okay, so that's the boiler. Um, Edward, there's so many things to turn, I don't know which one it is. The cold water can be turned on or off from the metal tap. Oh, that's that, that's that. And then we have lift off. It's taken him 20 minutes, but John's finally cracked it. The water's now running. The water's on, but there's one small problem. I'm actually serious, guys, okay? Edward left the tap on, the bath's overflown. Oh my god, there's water everywhere. He left it on, there's water. He left the tap on, there's water everywhere. Genius. The boys have been in the apartment for under an hour, and it's already underwater. Look, 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 you, oh my god, come on. You left the point the wrong way. You left the point that way. God. How do you turn it off? It's like when he's mowing, you like, see it. How do you turn the tap off? There's like 101 buttons. Get out. Oh, it's so hot. Ow. It's like a steam room. Turn the top off. You turn it off. Okay, I'll save this. I'm singing in the rain. It's wet. We just got to clean it up. Let's, get, let's just get out of here. We've only been here. Like, come on. Like, what the hell?